We just heard from Dexter Lawrence. You're, mm -hmm. of course, a former defensive player. What do you think about him and his future here with the Giants? Well, I think he's a much added piece, but he is a mammoth man. I mean, this is a guy who literally moves people around like they're just toys. So I think he's going to be a welcome addition in their defensive line, and it's just something that they need from him uh, to be good at because they moved on from Damian Harrison, and this is a guy who are, should replace him. That's amazing is the evolution of the football player even since your day. Everybody has gotten bigger, but while they've gotten bigger, they're quicker. Well, they, they've gotten bigger, leaner, and quicker. So the hog mollies, I'm not sure they even exist because those were the big sloppy guys. These are big, lean, mean guys now. So, But they have gotten, like you take a guy who's 350 pounds and he moves like he's 225 pounds. It's amazing. Now you, of course, were part of our draft show mm -hmm. here at MSG during draft night. Daniel Jones goes sixth overall. What was your reaction then and what is your reaction now? Okay, so we had spent probably the first 90 seconds talking about who was available. And obviously Josh Allen was on the board and then the pick came in and we were just kind of like, okay, <laughs> okay. Totally unexpected? Uh, totally unexpected, yeah. Um, but we don't know what we don't know is kind of how I rationalized it. But then when we go back and we look at uh, the things that he does well and how it works for this system, I think number one, and people are going to you know, say and feel how they want to feel, but of all the quarterbacks in this draft, he had the most experience. He had 30 games of football. The first two guys, the first guy had one season of football, and the second-rated guy, who was um, Dwayne Haskins, he had one season of football too, albeit great seasons. But if you want a guy that you feel that's mature enough for this town, that's important too. When picking a quarterback, it goes beyond talent. It goes with maturity. Now, you've got to have talent to play in the league, but you've got to have maturity. You've got to have some self-confidence. Uh, and you've got to be able to deal. You've got to have thick skin. You've got to be able to deal with uh, everything that goes on in the media here. So, so far from Daniel Jones, when he has talked to the media, he has come across remarkably poised and remarkably mature. Well, he hasn't played yet either. That's, so. a, good, that's his, a good point. That's his good, first uh, that's incomplete good, pass may be a, a little different. Point. But I think, you know, that's part of the evaluation process too. Um, and I, I'm not casting dispersions on any of the other quarterbacks because I don't know a lot about them, but I can tell you, having been in this market over 30 years, you can't be a mental midget um, in this marketplace because it will eat you alive. Now, when you look at other aspects of the Giants here, they've made some dramatic improvement along the offensive line. How important, obviously, might that be here in terms of what happens with this team? Well, I think this team this year will go as this offensive line goes because uh, Saquon Barkley did so much with so little. Eli Manning did very little with very little early on, and then it got better when his protection got better. So I think as this offensive line goes, so will this offense. And I think they made some uh, really good moves in terms of acquisitions this offseason by adding uh, Kevin Zeitler. He's going to be a really good player for them. Got him in the trade there for uh, yep. Olivier Vernon. So we're going to be on during the draft lottery next week. You're really good at a reaction to unexpected news. You have any tips for us? Because we don't know where the Knicks are well, going to land next Tuesday. Well, expect the unexpected, which is to have exactly things go your way, because that's not expected for us Knicks fans. It hasn't gone our way in a long time. So, um, yeah, Zion the Nick. <laughs> we'll get, we'll get <laughs> enough right, of fingers, those. Fingers crossed. We'll get positioned enough with these lottery things here, and I think we'll end up with our guy.